what's going on guys welcome back to another daily youtube video where we cover the market our trades and all the content by yeah today is friday of course i don't even know why i looked at the date it's black friday and the market is moving crazy we already made one very very good move today on the discord which i'll show you in just a minute I mean, there's a lot of content and a lot of us, a lot of things for us to get into if i miss anything well don't be surprised because there's so so much content it's literally content overload as with always follow the twitch stream we stream twice daily 3 p.m to 7 p.m 11 p.m to 1 a.m and we obviously leak stuff on twitter too so follow the twitter too link in the description we did get the exactly correct leak for objectives and um packs for loftus cheek so make sure you give the twitter a follow as well and if you aren't in the discord join the discord everyone is getting free patreon in the discord until sunday um all 10 000 members of the discord have access to patreon right now and they made a lot of coins the first play we made today which we did post in here completely for free was the team of the week play i sent all my coins into team of the weeks at around 39k I know 38k was the aim and I got a few at 39 and they went all the way up to 43k sold every single one 45k just to quickly show you that that was a quick play I still have some leftovers some Dakers here and Luis Diaz's if you're on the stream you'd have seen I had a lot more and it's a couple of cards here from solution trading we do have some Marlins which we'll talk about in just a minute but in terms of the content honestly it's going to be a lot easier for us to just look on footbin because I've completed so many of them already but the team leaks obviously rose because all those SPCs refreshed the icon the daily road to knockout, whatever that is, the 83 times 10, which is one everyone's doing. And then also they brought a new pack as well. The content for today, we started with Frankie De Jong coming at a very affordable 300k, only three squads. Um, very, very good price, very good card. We then had an 80 plus upgrade, which is pretty cheap. 84 plus double. All three of these came at 4.30 p.m. So they refresh every day at 4.30 p.m. Uh, I believe this one requires Team of the Week. That's why it's more expensive than the rest. And the other two are pretty good value. No Team of the Week's required. We then got Kenny Dalglish at 6 p.m. Uh, kind of expensive, over 2 mil, which for me is a bit too much, not going to lie, but it is a good card and he does have Finesse Plus. Mixed Campaign player pick did come out as well at 6 p.m. Horrible uh, like to dislike ratio. Oh, no, I misread that. Not too bad. Uh, I actually got Cascarina from that, so I can't complain. A little potential um, compensation there too if you did it in Spanish, which they fixed. Same Maximum as well. Came at 8 p.m., I believe. Kind of a mid card, but again, very cheap, only 50k. And then these daily challenges, these hourly flash challenges have been coming throughout the whole day. Now, in terms of the actual team, we have had a lot of cards released already so far. Some quite crazy ones, of course, like Ronaldinho and Thierry Henry. And not too much to say about these cards, apart from Neymar is extinct and does have cam. The big rebounds, 1-7 is crazy. I think I'm on PC pricing right now, because that can't be right. Nope, he's 1.7 mil. That is ridiculous. There's no way he's actually selling for that. Because he was 1 mil of content. Oh my god, he was 1-4. There's no way the new Cafu has gone up 700k. That is wild if that is true. We need to have a look at that. Sorry, guys. He's not selling at that price just yet, but still, he's up a lot from one mil. You could make, could have easily made 500k on that trade. That content, obviously, we had our informs, so we couldn't make that kind of play. We were happy with our profits. Obviously, these higher risk plays do give higher rewards, and obviously, there's a ton of lightning rounds. We've got Bernardo Silva. Slight issue with that card though, as they brought brought out a brand new Evo for him too. Lots of other good cards, so you can pause the video and have a look at their current cards and prices. I believe David has already secured his plus one, as they've already played. I'd assume they won, and then loads of other cards here uh, soon to play. In terms of the Evo, this is the Evo for Bernardo Silva. If you have a look, and it's a free Evo, which only takes one game, so it's kind of crazy. And all you do is that, and you can see that is the new promo card, and that is the Evo. They're very, very similar. If anything, you could argue the Evo is better because it has a plus 6 on passing, but it is slightly slower and slightly worse shooting. I think I'll take the Evo. I also like the fact that you turn them into a 90 rated. You spend 25k to turn an 88 into a 90 rated. And if you have a look at the prices, I think it's the wrong thing. If you look at the prices of the 90 rated cards, you will see they're obviously way over 25k. I believe they're 50k. They're actually 58k, they're 60k right now, so you can turn a 25k card into a 60k fodder card, which is exactly what I'm going to do, as it's only one game, and I'll be submitting them into an SPC in no time. These were nice and down earlier at 50k, they've come up since, Pop was chilling at 50k a lot. The Bruin has flown to 75k, and Lewandowski was also down at 72 at one point, and has come back since. The other fodder, not really too much movement in honesty, everything is very very flat, and 85s are actually down, 84s haven't really moved. 83s haven't moved, 82s, honestly nothing has really moved. So we made a very, very good play today by investing in those Team of the Weeks. And we made a good amount of coins, probably 400 to 500k just on that alone. Obviously spending some coins because we're doing um, 
upgrades and all these things to our squad and having fun with the game. We are opening some packs from time. I will not be opening that one again. Here are the current packs in the store if you're just curious. The this 10k one seems to come back all the time. I'm not going to be opening that again. And then here's your lightning round at 10 p.m. Which seems to be two 100k packs tradable. We assume the second one is as well. All for the price of 120k or 2,000 people points. So two for one packs. If you were opening 100k packs, that's actually pretty good value in all honesty. But um, obviously we do not do that. Uh, as I said with the objective, we got all the objectives right. All three objectives we leaked on Twitter. And you see, you'll see the top three right here. Loftus-Cheek, perfectly right. Perfect stats. Perfect requirements. 80, 81, 82, 83. We call those packs. And obviously these were correct as well as we leaked on Twitter. So that is all of that for now. And in all honesty, the rest of the market, no surprise, has been dying. FC Pro Cards died. So many of them have died, but they've come back since, but they've gone really, really low. We still really like Marlon, as Marlon does play on Monday, and he does have hype, and he will get some hype on along the way too. We did tip this one on the Discord, of course, for free, because everything's for free this weekend. Marlon at 19k. He's already up to around, it looks like 21k in game, so that's a good look. Right content, that was our plan the whole week, to buy some Marlins at content. And we'll be holding these probably until Monday, I only have like 6. But yeah, we really like Marlon. Some other cards have done really well here as well on the rebounds. Um, but some huge cards are down as well a lot. Philobali's doing well because probably because St. Max is so cheap. Keep an eye on that because uh, he's kind of inflated right now. You've got Deli Ali as well, who was obviously almost double that price. Well, he was double that price a few days ago, so keep a close eye on that as well. But overall, where you want to target most of your attention, it's most likely on the new cards. We can have a look at Triple Threat too. We haven't really looked at these. Oh my god, Tiago is 37k. Oh, because Tiago can also be Evo. And I was about to say, why is this card down so bad? My god, that is a huge fall anyway, even before the Evo got leaked. But still, that is quite crazy. This card can be evo I believe, with the new evolution. Um, and pe maybe people are doing that instead, although it's not even close. Confusing one there, but... Um, I mean, he's just down a ton, and you're going to see that on a lot of cards in the market. Everything is down, and honestly, by not trading too much, you've probably helped yourself out. A lot of people would have over-traded today and tried to trade these old cards and been absolutely cooked. So... Give yourself a pat on the back if you didn't lose any coins. And if you made coins, even better. Yeah, looking at these cards, these are all fantastic live cards which have the hype and have got the card design and all this stuff too. Some cards are looking like they're already very low, like Van der Sar, although he plays for Ajax, is of course one of the best goalies in the game every year. Bernardo Silva has been cooked since his Evo came out. Varane is obviously very hype. Just honestly, the dynamics and card designs are half the thing with these cards. So be aware. That these cards will definitely move up and down for sure. If you can try and target the card playing tomorrow on Saturday, obviously there's too many new cards for me to even process this right now. On the night stream, we probably will have already looked at that. And we'll probably invest in some of these cards for some overnight, ideally targeting players who play on Saturday. I'll uh, just give you a quick team update. We did actually pack some of these cards ourselves. Uh, we packed a Toto, about 83 times 10. Pretty nice card, not the best, but not too bad. And then a card I'm excited to use in Bremer. Very, very good card there. I love this gold card as well, so I'm very, very excited to use that. And he actually links to my Dodo, which isn't a complete fail if I can actually use him for a bit, you know? And I also packed Cascarino. So we've got three new cards in the team, which is pretty nice, considering I barely spent any coins. Quick Step Plus, yeah, Cascarino from that player pick thing we are talking about, which uh, does not require a team of the week. And we did it for potential conversation, and we really lucked out with a fantastic card. So that's the current squad we're going with. We have, of course, started De Jong as well. with one squad in, and here's my Bernardo. I just played one game with him. I'll quickly show you how that Evo looks. Um, it is right here. You need to win one game and then win one, win one game with a clean sheet and the second one is win another game. So two games, you can make your Bernardo from this into that on the right with 79 pace, which is very, very nice. Uh, you have 27 days to do that as well. So literally, whenever you want, put them in your starting 11, win a game, get a clean sheet. or win by two clear goals. But yeah, very, very good free card. Very, very, even better. Auto card, in my opinion. We will be keeping an eye on these cards. Like, for example, a card like Jesus. Arsenal do play Brentford on Saturday. Obviously, he is a hyped card as well. He got all the way down to 195 earlier today at content and flew to 250. So again, you can show the demand is there. He did get a playstyle plus in first touch as well. Plus, so keep an eye because a lot of these cards have different playstyle pluses. For example, Ronaldinho, I believe, has changed the quick step plus from um, the one where they were doing the trickster glitch. And yeah. Luckily, Dalglish has managed to keep his uh, Finesse Plus. That was a lot of people's big fear about when he was getting the card. Will he have that plus? Will he still have the Finesse Plus? And he has kept it. But honestly, for me, 
way too expensive. But we will be making some flips, guys. Make sure you follow the Twitter for the earliest leaks. Make sure you follow the Twitch to follow every single trade we make live on stream. And of course, join the free trade Discord. And hopefully, you can still get a day free Patreon before we remove everyone from it again. And we'll be doing it again on Christmas Day. So if you are missing out, feel free to join right now and you can take part. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be making loads of coins and having loads of fun, more importantly. Like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow. Peace.